Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to ACS Sneakers. My name is Aiden. On today's video, we are taking a look at the top 10 upcoming sneakers for the month of April. But before we get into all of that, I want to welcome back my returning viewers and to any new viewers, welcome to the channel. We do release brand new sneaker content just like this each and every week. So do make sure to smash that subscribe button. Also, make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the intro. Quick disclaimer before we do go any further with this video, all this information does come courtesy of the Soul Supplier's website. Now, we'll be leaving a link in my description area below to the Soul Supplier as well as a link to all these individual releases just in case you want to check them out in any more detail. Do also take this information with a pinch of salt. All the information is correct as of today's date, which is the 28th of March. However, as I'm sure you already know, sneaker releases can be brought forward, pushed back, delayed for any given reason. So with all that aside, let's now move on to number one on the list. And kicking us off on this list today, we actually have a collaboration between Nike and Skepta for the Tailwind 5 in the bright blue colorway. Now this is scheduled to be releasing on the 2nd of April for a retail price of £160. If you locked into the live on Sneakers Day, you may have actually had the opportunity to purchase this shoe early. Fortunately enough for me, the missus managed to get the W on that and we do actually have a pair already coming into us. As soon as I've done the review, I will make sure to leave a link in the cards above. So make sure to keep your eye out for that. But just in terms of my personal opinion on the shoe, it's kind of underwhelming. I'm not really too excited for it to be completely honest. The Tailwind is generally a silhouette I don't really like. I don't really like the fact they put a cage on it. I think that makes it look even worse. And that toe box is absolutely minging. Um, but we'll just have to see what it's actually like in hand. It might impress me. It, I do always believe that when you actually get the shoe in hand, there's always a slightly different, you know, whether you like it more or you like it less. It always seems to change just a little bit when you actually see the shoe. I don't really see it doing too well in terms of resale price. I think it's already sitting either retail or just under on StockX. So this shoe should be pretty available for you. And next up on our list, we actually have a shoe that is releasing in both men's and women's sizing. It is the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort in the stadium green colorway. Now this is also scheduled to be releasing on the 2nd of April, but for a retail price of £125. Now, I've already had my say in the past as to why I absolutely love Zoom Comfort on the Jordan 1. As you can see behind me, I still have my Londons. They're still DS. I'm waiting for Summer to actually pull these out for the first time. This colorway as well, I think is absolutely banging. The Zoom Comfort colorways are getting better and better with every single release. And I do love the fact that they've actually brought out a full extended sizing for women as well. So I'm well and truly hoping I can actually cop my missus first pair of Jordan 1s. She's not really a big fan. I don't find them too comfortable and I think that may be putting her off as well. So hopefully this will be the start of a mini Jordan 1 collection for her. I think resale value will do pretty well. On the actual Londoners that you see behind me, the retail did really well in the beginning and has slowly started to come down, you know, the weeks after release. I see this doing very similar in terms of the initial release. I think the resale price will be very high, but then will start to go down. But I can see it going back up again as we're heading towards those summer months. Raffles are already available at places like End and Hannon, but for a weird reason that I can't explain, it's not currently on sneakers. So if I do get any more updates on that, I will make sure to share it on my Instagram page. But do keep your eyes out on the source player on the raffle guide as that's where all the information will be supplied as well. But moving on now to the next one on the list, we have the Nike Dunk Law SB ACG in the Caldera colorway. Scheduled to be releasing on April 3rd for a retail price of £90. Now for anyone that doesn't already know, ACG is all conditions gear and it's a line that Nike run. Basically the whole purpose of the ACG line is to be worn in all conditions, irrespective of the weather or time of year. So I'd be really interested to see how well the shoe actually does hold up and how decent those materials actually are. The fact that it's an S speed will mean that it's gonna sell out quickly and the resale price is gonna be high. I'm not sure whether or not the ACG factor will make the shoe even more limited or make it even more expensive. So only really time will tell in regards to that. Raffles are already open at lots of different places, which I will link in my description area. And next up on our list, we have another collaboration, this time between Sean Wotherspoon and Adidas for the ZX8000 in the Super Earth colorway. Now this is scheduled to be releasing on the 16th of April for a retail price of £110. This is actually a follow-up to a previous collaboration between both Sean Wotherspoon and Adidas. I believe that it was called Super Earth as well. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe it was a very similar name to that, if not the exact same. Personally, I'm not exactly sure whether I like this shoe more. I'd argue it's probably more wearable, but I don't know what it is about that fringe that he always seems to include on these Super Earths, especially with his collaboration with Adidas. I have no idea how you can go from the Sean Wotherspoon 97 to the Sean Wotherspoon Super Earth. 
But jokes aside, I really respect Sean Wotherspoon and I really respect what he's trying to do with these Super Earth collaborations. Personally, I do expect that this shoe is going to sell out just because of the fact that it is a Sean Wotherspoon shoe. I don't expect it's going to do too well in terms of resale price, especially with the previous release and how that one went. It started really high and then it fell incredibly quickly. I did find it kind of funny that I saw loads of resellers scrambling after clutching so many pairs and then the price went even under retail in some sizes. One of those things. I don't expect that as many resellers are going to be going all out to get this release. There's not too much information in terms of raffles or whether it'll just be on the Adidas or the Confirmed app. But I do think it'll be quite a wide release and I do think if you actually do want this pair, it should be a lot more available than you'd expect it to be. And next up on our list, we actually have a shoe that is my contender for Jordan 1 of the year. It is the Air Jordan 1 High in the Hyper Royal colorway, scheduled to be releasing on April 17th for a retail price of £140. Now, like I say, I'm super excited for this release. I think it could arguably be the best Jordan one that we'll see this year. There's lots of months left in the year, so there could be something completely different, and this could age pretty poorly for me. I've watched a lot of early reviews. The materials look amazing. The shoe just looks fire, and I just need to have this for my personal collection. If I don't hit for retail, I'm strongly considering selling my mockers to actually fund this purchase. In this situation, because of how much I love the colorway, it could be a very big possibility that I may have to do that to get it for my personal collection. I think there's going to be quite a few raffles available at your standard places, SNS, and and Hannon, etc. This will also be available on sneakers as well. So if you are really interested in getting this shoe like I am, do make sure to get all your raffles in. This shoe is going to sell out. And next up, we have a shoe that a lot of people are really excited for. It is the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bulls, scheduled to be releasing on April 23rd for a retail price of £165. I've been hyped for this shoe for so long. I've mentioned it in two or three different videos and I'm buzzing that it's finally releasing. This is definitely a personal cop for me. I've already bought two Jordan 5s for the collection this year, but the Raging Bulls is completely different. It's in its own league and it's actually my favorite Jordan 5 colorway of all time. So yeah, this is definitely a must cop for me. In terms of the actual release itself, I do expect it's gonna be available via raffle, sneakers app and all the regular places. It will sell out, absolutely. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind this shoe is going to sell out. But in terms of the actual resale value and all those kind of things, I'm not exactly sure where it's going to sit after release. When it comes to Jordan 5s, they're never really that much in terms of the immediate resale value. Even now, things like your OG Jordan 5 Retro, the, the Fire Reds that released last year, you can still get them for about £50 over retail, which is mind-blowing. I mean, that's an OG colorway. The Raging Bulls is a little bit more hype, you'd, you'd argue, so I do think it probably will go for more. But in the immediate release, I don't think it'll be that much above retail, to be completely honest, but I could be completely wrong. Moving on again to the next one on the list, now we have the Nike Dunk Low Lemon Drop, scheduled to be releasing on April 24th for a retail price of £90. I had absolutely no idea that this shoe was releasing until I saw it on the Saw Suppliers Facebook page. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I kind of feel like I really like it, but at the same time, I'm not really sure. It It's really one of those kind of shoes I feel like you have to get in hand to fully appreciate. I'll definitely be going for it. Like I said on the other dunk at the start of the video, I go for every single dunk release because if anything, if I don't like the shoe, they sometimes have resale value attached to them. And it's always good for the actual channel to do those kind of reviews. But just in terms of the personal collection, the jury's out at the minute and I'm not sure if this is actually something I could actually wear. But on that note, I do think it's going to sell out and I do think a lot of people will actually want this pair around summertime. So if you are wanting it for the personal collection, just make sure you get all your raffle entries in. I do expect that this will be available at all the normal places and I do think it will be available via sneakers app as well. And next up on our list, we have another collaboration, this time between Nike and Sakai with the Vapor Waffle in the Sesame Blue colorway. Now this is scheduled to be releasing on April 27th for a retail price of £160. Finally, in my personal opinion, they've released a half decent colorway on the Vapor Waffle. The black and white colorway that they previously released, it was all right, but it really didn't reinvent the wheel for me. I went for the shoe for the, you know, for the resale, I'll be completely honest, um, but it was never something I wanted for the personal collection. This, on the other hand, is definitely something I could see myself wearing. I think the colorway is absolutely bangs. I think it'll look really good in summer. And it's kind of one of those shoes that's a conversational piece as much as it's just a nice shoe as well. Around the summertime, this is going to be 
incredibly high in my opinion in terms of resale price so if you are wanting this for the personal collection i'll always reiterate do get all your raffle entries in. I do think it's going to be available at all the standard places. And I do think that this will be available on the sneakers app as well. Next up, we actually have a shoe that to me feels like it's already being released. It is the Air Jordan 4 in the University Blue colorway. Scheduled to be releasing on April 28th for a retail price of £165. Now, like I just said, to me, it kind of feels like the shoe already released. I've seen it everywhere. I've seen it on Instagram, all over Facebook, Twitter. And there are so many early reviews of this shoe on YouTube as well. Everyone seems to be talking about it in terms of resale price, in terms of early reviews and all those kind of things. I'll be honest, I'm kind of bored of it already and the shoe hasn't even released. I'm arguably not the biggest Jordan 4 fan in the world. It's not my top five favorite Jordan silhouette. So I'm kind of... Uh, I'm not really too fussed about it to be completely honest if I get it I'm buzzing because you know if I don't like it I can resell it and make a little bit of money on the side but in terms of for personal it's a nice shoe but I just would never wear it personally I think the university blue ones are better than the university blue fours that's my personal opinion you might completely disagree with me but like the university blue ones this shoe is going to sell out incredibly quickly everybody seems to want a pair obviously um, and I do think that this shoe will be available via raffle as well as on sneakers app and last but by no means least We've reached number 10 for this list. It is the Yeezy 700 bright blue Which is scheduled to be releasing at some point in April Unfortunately, it doesn't actually have a confirmed release date as of today's date and the retail price is rumored to be around 250 pounds now this shoe is ugly but I love it and I have no idea why it's just absolutely rancid but in a way that's kind of nice I can't explain why I actually want this shoe, why I even like it. Maybe it's because it's the 700 and I love the Wave Runner, but I just, I can't explain it. It's one of those shoes. Uh, if I get it, I'll be either buzzing and really excited to keep it, or I'll be disappointed and I'll sell it and make some money. So it's a win-win and it's really one of those things. It's going to sell out as I, as I've said for pretty much every shoe on this list. They're all pretty hype shoes to be completely honest. So I think they'll all sell out, this one included. Resale value, if it's anything like the last 700 release, I think it's going to do extraordinarily well. And people like me like ugly shoes, so I think a lot of people will be really interested in it. Now that just about wraps up my top 10 upcoming sneakers for the month of April. Did I miss any out that you guys think should be included? Do make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below with your top 10 upcoming sneakers for this month. And if you stuck around to this point in the video, I want to say a massive thank you. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to smash that subscribe button. Also, make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one.